Now, the most important part in the saffron farm is the air handling unit for the control the temperature, humidity, and the CO2. You need this device, air handling unit, not air conditioner, not the simple the heater and the cooler that you use in the office in your house. Okay. Now, this is a uh, mini air handling unit. It's suitable for the 100 meters, suitable for the 400 square meters. Now you can see. This because this is the this is before installing. This comes. This is two parts. Okay, connected. If you, this is two parts. Okay, this is the handling unit part. This part comes uh, to the here. This is the coil. This is the cooling coil. This is the cooling coil and the heating coil and the chiller connected to the cooling coil. And here we have the mini chiller here. This is uh, this is the mini chiller via a pipe in the with the five inch pipe connected to the coil. And here, if you see this part, this is the humidifier inside the here, and this circular part, and this is a square part. We have the two unit. Uh, we have the two unit, the plastic duct uh, connected to the. Uh, this part connected to this part and here for the regulating the CO2 and the fresh air this is the two part if you see this is the this part this is the this uh, installed in the outside this installed inside the room we have the two part a plastic duct and the cold air warm air and the humidity comes from this part this is the uh, a circular part this is a plastic duct and this here and uh, we don't install any plastic here only for the regulating the pressure the fresher air this come this uh, install both of this unit inside the room okay inside the room and this outside the room this is the has a this works opposite of this part when this completely close this completely open when this completely open this completely Close. For example, in the saffron farm, we have the two phase. In the after the purchasing the bulb, when we don't have any activity in the September, when there is not any cold temperature, and uh, the bulbs are asleep, we need uh, the air inside the room go and back, and it comes and back in the first month in the September. The CO2 should be near the 2,000 ppm. Therefore. Uh, we don't need any air comes from the outside. We don't need any fresh air. Therefore, when we don't need any fresh air, therefore this unit that comes in the outside, this is connected to the fresh air, we should completely close in the September when we don't need any fresh air or oxygen. CO2 should be high. 2000, this that's connected to the outside should be completely uh, closed. And therefore, this part should be open. When this completely open, this completely open, therefore, uh, the air inside the rooms, we have the circulation. Inside room, we don't have any connected uh, with the outside. This when I 100%, this is near the 90% uh, close from the fresh air, and the inside, uh, the return air, this is the near 90% uh, open. Okay, this is a 90% open, 90% closed, and therefore. But in the October, in the after the September, in the beginning of October, after the, uh, at the end of the dormancy, when the sprouts coming out, when we need to fresh air, the CO2 near the 700 ppm, uh, we need to low temperature, we need to fresh air. We need air, fresh air. Therefore, the most important part is uh, that the this is completely opposite. In the October, when it's the fresh air, this should be this part installed in the outside. Therefore, this completely open, near the 90% completely open. Therefore, fresh air from the outside comes to this part, and therefore, we will have the fresh air inside room, the CO2 10 to the 700 ppm, 800 ppm. Therefore, we will have too much oxygen because in the October when the sprout coming out 
in the beginning of the November we need to flower. In the October we need full of oxygen. The CO2 near 700 ppm. This closed, this completely open, and the fresh air comes from the outside. Therefore, you have the full oxygen. This also uh, connected to the plastic that from this part only we receive the regular the temperature, adjust the temperature and the humidity. Here we can the regular the humidity here, this uh, button, we can with this part, with this part we can the uh, regulate. This is the we can the change uh, this part, uh, we can change the degree of the humidity. For example, if we need to high humidity, we can completely open. When we have the medium, we can take work with the medium uh, humidity. Inside the air handling unit, this is the, uh, the whole shape of the air handling unit. This is our room. This is air handling unit. And therefore, this is a uh, humidity. Water comes from this part, and this part uh, converted the water to the steam, to the uh, small particles, and increase the humidity. This is the air handling unit suitable for the saffron farming. This is connected to the plastic duct. Plastic ducts come to the main room. And this, as I completely explained you, for the regulating uh, the CO2 and the oxygen. In the September, this completely open. In the September, whole September, this completely closed. In the October and November, when we have the flower, this should be inside the room completely closed. This should be completely open because in the November, in the October and November, we have flower and completely alive. We need full oxygen. When uh, this part, this part installed, this part completely installed in the outside. This completely inside the room. Inside room, we have the uh, dead air, we have the, we don't have too much fresh air, but outside uh, we will have the too much oxygen. Here, uh, this is the coil. Here, uh, this coil, this is the coil, and this is the cooling coil. Via this part, uh, this is our mini chiller, mini chiller via pipe connected to the cooling coil and the cold water comes to the cooling coil and inside the engine there is the engine here and the converter to cold water to the cold air